Hello, I'm Philip Manzano. Doesn't take five minutes to reuse HDRI to make an animation. Let's start with a new file. To help you, I add the shortcuts in the lower left corner. So now let's add the Susan, the monkey. And since we want something nice to see, let's add some subdivision surface modifier to Susan. I used to ensure that Shade Smooth is selected. And now let's take care of the world, at least the shading. Sorry, you don't see it, but I added an environmental texture with an HDR file. We'll mostly use the Layout tab and we need it in the Render mode. Since we want a shadow, we need a surface to put the shadow on, so let's add a plane. The plane extends to the size of the shadow. So now let's go to the magic trick. You can find the original link in the description. Let's add a material to this plane and tweak it a little bit. So we add it and call it Enviro, for example. We switch from principal PSDF to diffuse. This material will use the HDRI image texture. This texture will need a mapping. Oops, not an UV map. Uh, mapping. And as an input, we add a texture coordinate node. We will only use the reflection from it. So basically, we're using the HDRI reflection and we add a mapping to it to tweak it. As you can see, this detail is actually seen on the other side of the environment HDRI. So it means that it needs some symmetry somewhere. Let's change the scale from um, 1 to minus 1 for X and Y. This way we get a symmetry on both axes. And boom! Now the reflection is aligned with the texture. Now let's fix the problem with the light. We switch the light from point to sun and we change the strength to 2 and from there you can move up or down until you don't see the plane anymore except for the shadow of course. Since we work with the HDRI environment there's nothing like scale so basically you just position the head where you want it and the scale you think is correct. Once it's done you simply put the camera where the view is basically by clicking Ctrl, Alt and 0 on your numpad. Now for the camera to track the object, we will add an object constraint, track 2, and the camera will follow the object on the minus Z and the Y is up. We insert a keyframe for this camera view with lock rot or lock rot scale if you want, doesn't matter. Move the playhead to 180. And now we simply move our view to the last frame to set the camera position. If you're lost, you simply click Shift C to reposition the head. And now you move your view away from the monkey. Hit Ctrl Alt 0 to position the camera at the view position. And finally, don't forget to insert the last keyframe lock rot. The camera movement or tween is automatically computed. And here's your scene. Now feel free to subscribe on patreon.com slash realistis. Thank you very much and see you at the next tutorial.